almost said retarded there a couple times. My bad, my bad. I'm not trying to give myself a dash being able to use that word. But I will say, I do have family members with Down syndrome. It almost got me out. I dodged it, but it nicked me. It nicked me. Bit of a day walker myself. It's funny when you bring up Down syndrome, you can always tell who's never been around it in their lives. You know what I mean? Like if I tell people, if I'm like, yeah, I have family members with Down syndrome, people that have never been around it are like, oh. Like Down syndrome is the fucking end of the world. Like, oh. Are they okay? Are they doing okay? It's like, they're doing better than everybody I know. They're the only dudes I know having a good time pretty consistently. Sorry they're not on fucking Adderall and anti-anxiety like the rest of us. They're on fucking Capri Suns. <laughs> having a good time. Dude, my Uncle Danny, my Uncle Danny sneaks grilled cheese sandwiches into restaurants just in case they don't serve grilled cheese sandwiches. You don't know where he's getting these fucking things. Yes. It's the best. You'll be out to dinner with him. You look across the table, you see him sneaking at grilled cheese. Yeah, yo, where'd you get that cheese, Danny? <laughs> His dad's with him. He's like, that fucker, he's been making them at night. I know he is. I'm not making them at night, Dad. And he'll look at you and be like, I'm making them at night. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than that, dude? What's better? What's better? What's better than Uncle Danny? Uncle Danny, three in the morning, shirtless. Baggy gym shorts. Quietly. Secretly in his parents' kitchen. On a secret mission to make ten grilled cheese sandwiches. Just... <laughs> Every day his dad comes down the steps like, where's the fucking bread going? He's got eight sandwiches in a closet. Don't go in my room! <laughs> Down syndrome rules, you don't have to... Obviously, that's not how you say it, yeah. You don't go around saying fucking Down syndrome rules. I'm saying it wrong. I'm not, I'm not discounting the fact it's hard for families. It is. I've witnessed it firsthand. It's difficult. It's fucking... It's scary. It's very scary at first. And then you quickly realize that's easily the only good family member we have. That's the only good person I know. <laughs> They're the bros, dude. They're the perfect bros. They love two things, dude. They love John Cena. Across the board, dude. You see what these dudes out in public. Hit him with a... <laughs> They're gonna give it back. They love him. And they love tits. <laughs> dude, the dad's gonna love tits. There is a number two for a lot of people.